Hi everyone! In this video, we will solve a coin word problem. You dump out change from a tip jar and find there are only dimes and quarters with a total value of $17.35. The number of dimes is 30 more than the number of quarters. How many of each coin do you have? We have two unknowns, the number of dimes and the number of quarters. I'm going to go ahead and use D for the number of dimes and Q for the number of quarters. Dimes are worth 10 cents and quarters are worth 25 cents. If we multiply the value times the amount or number of each coin, we'll get a total value and then when we add them together, we'll get the total value of all of it, which we were given is $17.35. That's actually our first equation. 0 0.10 for dimes plus 0.25Q for quarters equals the total value of $17.35. That's our first equation. Our second will come from the translation of the second sentence. The number of dimes, which we chose to be D for dime, is translates to equals 30 more than, more than reverses the order, so it'll be add 30, the number of quarters, which is Q, so it'll be Q plus 30. So now we have our second equation. Now that we have our two equations, we can actually work with the first one to simplify it a little. Since there's a lot of decimals, we can get rid of those by multiplying both sides by 100, since the largest number of decimals is 2. This will get rid of all the decimals. So we multiply this in using the distributive property. That moves the decimal place to two place values to the right, giving us 10d plus 25q equals 1,735. Now we have a simplified version of the first equation, and our second equation is d equals q plus 30, and we can substitute q plus 30 every time we see d in this equation. So we get 10 times the quantity, Q plus 30 plus 25Q equals 1,735. Using the distributive property, we'll get 10Q plus 300 plus 25Q equals 1,735. Now we can combine like terms, which gives us 35Q plus 300 equals 1,735. Since I ran out of room, we'll come up here, and we have 35Q plus 300 equals 1,735. To isolate the variable, we can subtract 300 from both sides, and we're left with 35Q equals 1,435. To continue isolating the variable, we'll divide both sides by 35, and we get Q equals, in my calculator, 41. This means there are 41 quarters. Now we can substitute this into one of the original equations to find out how many dimes. We have this equation here, or one of the versions of the first equation. I'm going to go ahead with the second one because it's already solved for D. So we have D equals Q plus 30. So we get D equals 41 plus 30, since Q equals 41. So we get D equals 71. This means that we have 41 quarters and 71 dimes, and we're all done.